to and when they were all ready oh sakha and nand baba are very eager to go and to see that dhanush yagya so gopis give up their shame everything they came forward in front of their gurujan superior superior and they catch hold of the reins of the horse reins of the horses some lying on the ground lying on the ground like they made what hunger strike or then they were telling to krishna you should not go lamenting so much krishna came out of his chariot and told i promise that today i am going tomorrow i will finish my job job there and day after day after tomorrow parso i must come he then gopis thought that krishna is satya sankalpa what he tells come always come oh, always he must come and then became faint and accrued in jig jag hoye driving the chariot gopis are telling this accrued is not accrued crude but he is crude crude man cruel hearted cruel hearted he has come to take our life and soul in this way a crew took them and nand baba with all sakhas he had reached before on the bank of jamuna there and he has he was resting and waiting of krishna then krishna and baldev with a crew they went there a crew told please come to my room, my house i want give your food dust krishna told chacha uncle we will finish our job here and then we will come to your house don't worry <coughs> and they sent an akrur went to kans and told that i have brought and he in the night Kans has so many dreams that I am sitting on a donkey and my mouth has been coloured with oil, oil and sindoor red color. red everywhere and, and anyone is killing me and after that in day he was seeing that all this jackals weeping. Oh, from aka from the sky, uh, blood, blood, blood raining was there. So many unauspicious things. Oh, now he became scared. After that, what became? Oh, he went to there. Uh, what name? Prem Prajan. Is he here? can you after that how krishna went to mathura puri killed dhanush oh, he broke the dhanush and other things.
So Srila Gurdjieff ordered me to speak a few words about how Sri Krishna performed his pastimes in Mathura. So on the day that Sri Krishna arrived, he went to the arena where the bow uh, was being kept. No, no. In the Visit Mathura Nagar. He visited Mathura Nagar. Even blanks began to come to Krishna to see. And the ladies there who were decorating, giving anjan in one life. Oh, like this. <coughs> when Sri Krishna went into Mathura Puri, then all the residents of Mathura, they were very excited to see him. Everyone was running into the streets to have the darshan of Sri Krishna and Balaram. Everyone wanted to see him. Even blind people were running there to see him. And uh, the uh, Mathura Balanis, the princesses of the city of Mathura, they, whatever they were doing, they left everything and quickly ran to see Krishna. If their, uh, cos their cosmetics were not complete, anyway they would stop. If their dressing was not complete, their decorations were not complete, they would leave everything and try to see from their balconies, from their windows as Krishna and Bara were going through the streets of Mathura. You finished very soon? No, no, you finished very soon Krishna traveling. All the queens, uh, Rajkumari, uh, oh, they were throwing flowers Chawal, Akshat, Durba, and Khoi, everything on Krishna. And Krishna smiling. Also they, by smiling, by their eyes, took Krishna in heart and embraced. In this way he was going. Everyone of Mathura was so happy to see Krishna. Then, Go, Kubja. Kubja. Oh, before Kubja, something may. Washerman. Washerman. So, as the Sri Krishna was going through the street, Tumi bolta once there was, a, there was a washerman there. And the washerman, he had Tumi so bolta many pasta. silks. Go on. <laughs> so many cloth, so many new uh, clothes and ornaments. And the Sri Krishna approached him and asked, Oh, can you give these to me? But he became upset. Why? Because all of these things, they're not for a coward boy who's just come to the city for the first day. These things are for the king. And that washerman man was upset. So Sri Krishna, he <coughs> removed his head with his hand and at once took all of that cloth and dressed himself and distributed the cloth amongst his friends. So now all the boys from the farm have come to the big city, they have very nice clothes also, <laughs> and they are parading around the streets. Since and it's Darji. Darji means? Seeing person. A, a, tailor. a tailor. A tailor that took the cloths that were meant for Kamsa and made them into very beautiful uh, uh, clothing for Krishna and his friends. And then Sudama Mali. Hmm. Oh, he has, he was going to Kans to give so very beautiful garland. garland, so many. And he saw, Krishna told that, can you give me? Uh -huh. why oh, why not? Sure. You are best person too. And then he Yes. Now Krishna becomes so beautiful, and then Kubja. So <laughs> this washerman, Krishna had killed him. Why? Because in his previous life, he was the washerman who had cast aspersions on the character of Sita Devi, which caused Lord Ram Chandra to uh, send Sita Devi away. So now, Sri Krishna, he has a garland, he has new clothes and he's going to the city of Mathura. At that time, there was one 
uh, hunchback lady. And she used to uh, take a chandan, sandalwood paste, for kapsa. So she, uh, she approached Sri Krishna, and Sri Krishna asked if she could give him the sandalwood paste. Oh, you are very beautiful. Krishna was, uh, uh. because he's like this. <laughs> so, and Krishna said, oh, you are very attractive. Can you give me this sandalwood paste? So then that uh, Kubja, hunchback woman, she was very happy to give the sandalwood paste to Sri Krishna, and she began to smear it on his body. So Krishna was very pleased. So he stepped on her toes and grabbed her by the ears and <laughs> made her straight, and she was perfect and beautiful in a moment. So then Krishna was leaving with his friends, but someone was pulling his cloth. <laughs> Kubja took the cloth that Krishna was pulling. So instead of this, can you come back to my house? Just now, Sikha said, later. And now I'm busy, have some business to do. I promise I must re uh, go to your uh, place and fulfill all your desires. So Sri Krishna was on his way. And he came to the arena where the bow was. And Sri Krishna took the bow and strung it and stretched and broke the bow. And the bro bow made such a thunderous sound. It struck terror into the heart of Kamsa Maharaj. He was very worried, very disturbed. After that, Sri Krishna returned to his the camp of Nanda Maharaj just outside Madhura. Oh. Those who were guard of that Dhanus and a big army of Kams, they began to kill Krishna. But Krishna killed them all. And then he returned back. Krishna and Balaram took one part of the broken bow each, and using one half of a broken bow each, they beat all the soldiers who were attacking them and killed them all, and then returned after a very eventful evening, first evening in the city. <laughs> the next day... Th thank you. Nice. <laughs> Now, next day, in the meantime, Kans saw that Krishna and Baldev are very strong. They killed our whole army and that he broke the oh, it was more than Indra Dhanush. So he began to think, oh, I may be killed by them. And then he again told to Charun, Mustik and others and the elephant driver driver that you have to give so much wine to and when Krishna will come by main gate you should crush him. And if any will, anyhow he will save, save then Chan must kill him. In the way say made a plan. And after that go Premanande. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So some devotee has requested for initiation to take place tomorrow a residence in hotel, room number 1711. The devotees who desire for initiation requested yesterday, they will come tomorrow 8.30 a.m. And if you could advance it, they will be right. Now we will proceed now for this next destination. So no need to be hopeless. Hare Krishna. Govinda Bolo Hari Gopalo Govinda
performances throughout India, Italy, Canada, and the U.S. Vishnu brings this chosen art from, from, with a form of vision of beauty, refinement, grace, spirituality, imbued with divine inspiration, which permits each step to dance. He is the founder and director of Odissi Pilas, the sacred dance of India. Mangala Churan is an inventory dance item in which the dancers start with the Svanjali, offering flowers to Lord Jagannath. The presiding deity of Odissi dance and asks his blessings for the suspicious art and then, in Pumi Pranam, the dancer would be bowed to Mother Earth and ask her for doings for stomping on her ground and permission to start the dance. The central piece, Keki Kanta, is the verse from Valmiki Ramayan in praise of Lord Ram, the hero of the great epic of Ramayan. Shri Ram, whose bodily color is that of a grain, of grain on a peacock's neck. The sages taste the bliss by meditating on his transcendental form. His chest is marked with the footprint of Bhikkhu Muni, one who wears yellow garments as, as his eyes look like lotus flowers. He who is always satisfied, happy, and pleasing all. He broke the great bow of Lord Shiva, and he is the Lord of Hanuman. He is always eager to serve elders and friends. He is the Lord of Janaki's heart, Sita Devi. To that Lord Ram, I am offering my obeisances. The dancers then complete the Mangala Charan to Khandi Pranam or the threefold salutation. One, above the head to the gods in heaven. Two, in the front of the forehead to Shri Guru. And three, in the front of the chest to all the respected gods. <laughs>
dance is not over yet. I think everyone remains seated. Gurudev will be leaving. Tomorrow we're having Pranami. Gurudev will be sitting in the center. Everyone can be able to see him and take Darshan up close. The dance is still going to continue. which describes the loving pastimes of the divine couple of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, written in the 12th century by a great Vaishnava poet, Sri Jaya Goswami, a devotee of Lord Jagannath. In this Ashtapati, Radha is portrayed as Abhisadika Naik, the heroine who is on her way to meet with her love and Lord Krishna. Asaki tells Radha, Oh my dear, on the banks of Jamuna, in the forests of Vrindavan, where the cool winds blow very gently, Krishna, the very God of love, awaits you, the God of your heart. His soft lotus-like cooling hands are eager to embrace you. Desiring you today with a terrible want, he waits. O beloved one, with lovely limbs, make haste your lover waits. Gently he is playing his flute. Softly, it calls only your name. Today, he welcomes even an infinitesimal grain of sand, of dust upon his hands, for that grain has touched you and then returned to him. A bird alights upon a branch, there in a rustle and noise in the sound. Ah, it is Radha, he says. He hastens to make a place for you to rest, for you to be his love. Distracted, he looks around and he waits for you only. O oh my Saki, take off your anklet today. The agitated sound of your bells is a barrier to the silence when lovers meet. Wrap yourself in the garment of blue, the color of night, and hurry, hurry to the dark silence of lovers' bower, where he waits your shell. Oh, uh -huh. 